Welcome back to Our Attack and Daughters. And I've teased you with this before on the Instagrams and on the uh, community channel. This is the box for the Gerson, as you can see here, 1911. So we're going to open it up and take a look at it. And my new uh, camera holder shakes a little bit. So anyway, here we go, open box. I'm also going to show you what I'm going to do to it later on and um, our shooting video. So we're going to do our unboxing video, the blah, blah, blah. And then we'll do go into our, our feature video and then we'll go into the range video at the end. And I will tell you what I like and dislike about this. All right, so what do we get in the box? Well, obviously you get the pistol the magazine it comes with is an eight round magazine this is an extra seven round I've already, you've already seen those um a place for the store magazines here and there as you can see it'll lean out here but you saw it fall out anyway and then it comes with a cleaning brush you can always never have enough of these bad boys and it's got a couple other spots here and there so these are the spots I'm going to show you later what we're going to do to our, again, there's another magazine retention device. So you can put your magazine in there like so if you want it to. A little tight. The other one up here works better. So anyway, let's take it out of the box. Okay. Take the magazine out. She magazine pops out. Comes with an eight round. 1911 magazine so we'll put that there and then we'll move the box out the way and get the star of the show which is the Gersant full-size government five inch barrel 1911 a1 with the a2 stuff I guess I don't know or the 40 or the like the Colt 19 or like the Colt m45 not the same yes I know blah 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 anyway this is the Gerson MC 1911. As you can see here, it has a Picatinny rail. It has slide serrations up front and at the rear, which is great. It's got the Gerson uh, grips on there, plastic. Not a big deal. We got your uh, lightning cut trigger there. We got your lightning cut uh, hammer. You got ambidextrous safeties on both sides, extended beaver tail grip, flat mainspring housing on, and this is this side again. Here, this side, you got your standard checkered magazine slide stop slide release. Yes, it does both. So here we go. We're gonna knock it up. We have a standard guide rod, not a full length guide rod. Standard barrel, barrel bushing. And as you can see, the gun is empty. It is also chambered in 45 ACP. Has an excellent trigger, as you would figure. I believe it's set at uh, four and a half pounds. At least that's what the old trigger gate said. Trigger gate says we may change it, check it at a later time, but not today. So as we're looking at this of, of this device here, this 1911, um, I went and shot it like it is bone stock. It does have uh, replaceable sights. I should say that here. You got, uh, I believe these are the Novex style 1911 sights. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below, because I'm most likely going to change out the sights. They are three dot white sights, as you can see. Um, during my initial review, I did shoot, oh, they call this the reserve. During my, um, shooting video, I think I seem to be shooting low with this firearm, which is not normal for me with a 1911. Of course, my other 1911s have different sights than these. So it might be the sight picture for myself reason why it looks that I'm shooting low with this pistol. 
at seven yards. So, and it could have been the ammo because I used red standard ammo army it. Excuse me. Ammo in it, which is basically 230 grain Russian steel cased ammo. So it could have just been the ammo. So, um, if it's a case where it's a sight issue or maybe the barrel issue, I don't think so. Um, to me, it could just be the ammo itself and not the gun. But if it is, that's fine. I, I do have a stainless steel national match barrel that I could stick in here and find out. And I'm going to change the sights, I've decided already. So that's one of the things I'm going to change. So, But I want to talk about... Um, all the features this gun has, as you can see, you have a, a rail, you got front and rear side, side serrations. I've said this, it's ambidextrous. The magazine uh, release can be moved to the other side. Uh, it's got checkering on the slide stop side release, same way. Good beaver. Tail. These are a lot of um, non standard features on a standard price 1911 pistol uh, this is well under uh, $500 in most markets um, MSRP is like six uh, if you're gonna get a Colt 1911 a1 you're gonna pay more and not have none of these features so with that saying it's a good bargain it's a good deal uh, you get a lot of gun for a little bit of price and it Operate it flawlessly like a 1911 should. No big, uh, no failures to feed, no jams. Now that is under uh, range conditions inside with only 50 rounds being fired through it. Um, I do have other ammo to shoot through it at a later time after I do my upgrades. So we got some standard checkering here on the back. Feels good. It's a great feeling pistol. And the most easiest 1911 I have ever racked a slide on. This thing is butter. It is butter. I mean, compared to all the other ones that I've ever held in my hand, including my Rock Island Armory, um, these things, this thing racks nicely. They've done a very good fitment job on this. So, what are the things I'm going to change? Well, as you can see here, I have no problem with the mag safety, and that's why I don't have a pro or with the um, pistol safety, not the mag safety. And I don't have a problem with any pistol with a thumb safety, like my Smith and Wesson M and P's. Most of them have thumb safeties. It's second nature to me because I carried a 1911 for over 10 years, and I, on occasion I still do. So to me. If you're going to bitch about because your gun's got a safety here and it should be in your finger or your head, blah, 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 or you need a trigger dingus, blah, 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 what the hell ever, it doesn't matter. If you train around it or train for it, then you learn muscle memory and then you become proficient with it. If you're not proficient with it, then you need to train more. Plain and simple, those folks are the hard truth. And if you don't like it, don't put it on. It's that simple. Or remove it. You can't on 1911, but anyway, it would look funny with a big old hole right there. With that being said, shall we move on? Yes. Um, these are plastic grips. I do not like them. They will be changed out. Also, something else that I have a problem with is the magazine or the slide stop slide release. It is not long enough for my short thumb, as you can see. Yes, I can just get the back of it, but I can't get enough on it. For example. Wow. So anyway, it's like this. If I'm doing that, the extended magazine release or the safety is in my way. So I have to adjust my hand or hit it with my left hand, which is not a problem to hit it with my left hand, as you can see. But I like to have the option where I can reach this bad boy over the extended safety. So what I usually do is I get an extended slide stop, slide release, and it takes care of the problem. And I don't have to adjust my right hand grip to reach around 
this safety. Now, some people say, well, if you didn't have that thumb safety there, you wouldn't have that problem. You're right, <laughs> but it does, and that's what it is. And we don't have to have a grip safety either on a 1911 because the Army wanted it, not John Browning. So, again, you can get parts to eliminate the magazine safety. Why? You got one, two, and you got three. Of course, you got your Alabama battery safety. The gun is over 100 years old, and we still compare all new guns against this. Imagine that. The Glock versus 1911 debate has never been settled and never will be. It's that simple. Anyway, so what, what, what am I going to do to it? So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to it. Uh, I'm going to change out the grips. Now i got to do a little working on one of these grips because it's not set up for ambidextrous safety. But here are my new Coast Guard grips that I'm going to put on here. As you can see here, it's got the medallion in the middle of it. Looks nice. Plastic grips. And i got a set of wood grips if I want to put on it, but I'll have to take that off my other one. So this one right here will need to be cut a little bit to add for the uh, ambidextrous safety on that side. So these are the new grips that are going to go onto this firearm. Now I like to customize my pistols for my own taste, and you guys have seen that with some of my Glocks and my Smith and Wessons. I send, I, I tend to customize them a little bit. Well, with the 1911, there's only so th so many things you can do. Um, you can do the grips, voila, we're doing that, and then there's no cover plate here to take care of, but right here there is your um, recoil spring retainer so you can change this out so that's something else we're going to do so let me get that in here now unfortunately or fortunately however you want to look at it it is stainless and what we see here at the end on this one if you can see it is that It's got the U.S. Coast Guard emblem on it. But again, it's only going to be right here, so only the tip will show. And you'll have to be pretty damn close to see that that says United States Coast Guard. So that's the other issue I am. I'm not going to put a full-length guide rod in it because then I couldn't use my end cap. And it didn't come with one, and it really don't need one. Um, again, the next thing we're going to replace is the slide stop, slide release, extend it. That'll go right there. And then the final thing I will replace. Now, unlike my Kimber 1911 that's in 9 millimeter, um, the back strap here or the uh, magazine mainspring housing was plastic. This one uh, feels metal. So it will get replaced with another flat spring, um, except this has the magazine well adapter. After uh, shooting my Rock Island Armory that had a magazine adapter, a well adapter on there. Uh, it is great and a lot easier, quicker feeds, better feeds for your 1911 versus one without one. So those are the upgrades that I'm going to do, do with it. And we'll do those upgrades. And then after I get everything done, then we'll do the video because YouTube will not allow me to show you. Um, it'll, allow me, it'll allow me to show you the breakdown on how to clean the gun, but it won't, show me, it won't allow me to show you replacing these parts. And so we're... That'd be for another day. If they would have came with them, then it'd been a different story. But they didn't, so um, changing the grips is not modifying the gun one bit. So we could do that uh, after I get them, after I get the other side ready for the ambidextrous safety there. So those are the upgrades I'm going to do to this pistol. Um, like I said, I do got a national match barrel bushing and barrel that I could put in it later. We'll see how this one's going to go out. Uh, when I replace the sights, I'll show that and the grips at the same time. So that'll be a deal there. So anyway, uh, victorious poke, it means how I'm running along out the mouth too long. And since this is Wednesday and you're getting this video a little late, I'm going to let you know now that here at RTAC and Daughters, we have patches. We have patches for sale. They are $20 shipped. All you have to do is send a email 
to our PayPal email address, which is on our Facebook link, or on our face now Facebook link. I'm sorry, our YouTube page, which is Chevy Sub 1978 at net zero.com. Send that in as a gift of twenty dollars, and for your gift of twenty dollars of love donation, we'll send you a patch. Just like this, it's a three-inch patch. Has our logo on there. We got them from had them made at Allen Anchor. Um, they do great work out there. Other West Coast company, and it is Velcro on one side, so you can use it. And these are currently on sale for twenty bucks with shipping. So we're not going to show you charge you exorbitant shipping fee for the patch. Okay, all right, Victoria, she's poking me again. So now what we're going to do is uh, she's going to she's going to you to feed in the range footage so victoria go ahead and r r run the range footage please like share and subscribe to the video and we'll catch you guys and gals next time enjoy shooting range footage <laughs> Okay.